All right, please be over here. There he is. Okay, cool. All right. You, you keeping stoop kid away from the stoop. But uh, I found the snitch, so here we go. Let's run over here, get some good lighting. There we go. Ooh, nice. Ooh, makes the skull all nice and shiny. There we go. All right. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video, and I'm just checking in on you. What's going on? How are ya? Now, today is October the 23rd, and this is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for Cassie Mendoza and Danny Weaver. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But before before we get to Cassie and Danny Weaver, we have to find the snitch. So this is going to be my snitch my location. Want to know where? So my coordinates are 1945 by 4641. Those are my coordinates. I am just outside of the DZ East Charlie checkpoint. All I did was exit the checkpoint and go to the second story of this building, and that is where I found the snitch. So please, let everyone know in the comments where you find the snitch. Help out the community. A lot of people cannot find the snitch, and I know that he spawns in over a dozen different locations all over the open world. So please help each other out and let each other know where you typically find the snitch. And the whenever you pick up the bounty, what you do is you go to the bounty details and just click abort bounty. That way you can keep it for later. So, for example, because my global difficulty setting is at Heroic, all of the snitch bounties I get are all on Heroic. Pretty cool, right? And then I can come back and do them whenever I'm feeling froggy and I want to leap. But all right, so we found the snitch and we have aborted the bounties. Now we have to find the white shopping cart icons. There's one right here. So Cassie is just outside of the castle settlement. And where is Danny? There it is, Danny Weaver. So Danny Weaver is just outside of the theater settlement. So first we'll go to Cassie and then we will double back to Danny Weaver. So to get to Cassie, all we're gonna do is fast travel to the castle settlement and then she'll be underneath near the art gallery. Hostile control point detected. And if you haven't already, make sure to find me on Twitch just type in Kamikaze Von Doom on Twitch. And remember that next week, eh, rumored, we're supposed to be getting Twitch drops for the Division 2. So you'd have to watch me over there on Twitch to get all of those exclusive drops. But nothing has been officially announced yet, so I'm not sure if it's really going down. It's just a lot of people leaking the information that they were given, but nothing has been officially announced by Ubisoft. So just remember that all of it is rumors until they officially announce it. And it's already Wednesday, so it's kind of weird that they haven't announced it yet if it's next week. But uh, I, I guess we'll see. They typically like to do things uh, last minute. But all right, timestamp it. Do whatever you need to. Here is Cassie Mendoza. And starting off at the top, we have our named items. Now, this does come with a disclaimer. If you are new or returning to the game, you might only see these top two named items. And that is because you have to unlock the bottom two named items. So starting with the Shield Splinter, this one is exclusive only to those who hunt down and eliminate all of the Year 1 Hunters. You have to open up the Ivory Chest and the Base of Ops, and then you will receive this weapon. And then after that, Cassie will sell it. Same thing applies with the Hunter Killer. However, this one is linked to the expansion. So you have to have Warlords of New York, and then you have to hunt down and eliminate all of the Year 2 Hunters and open up the Off-White Chest that is in the Haven Settlement. Once you do that, Cassie will then sell it every week thereafter. And that's how you unlock these two named items. Now, starting off at the top, we have the Like Glue. This is the named... Uh, shoddy with perfect brazen and this one does have really good attributes it has max shotgun damage it has damage to armor and damage to targets at a cover 
All you would have to do is pick this one up, recalibrate the armor damage to max, and then just optimize that damage to targets out of cover once, and you will have a fully god-rolled light glue. Moving on, we have the battery pack. This is the named Empress International backpack with perfectly calculated, and this one with crit chance and skill damage. This one's not bad. Perfectly calculated is not the best talent in the world. However, it already comes with skill damage and that skill tier, so you could easily just change the uh, crit chance off for skill haste, and then you're good to go. For the bottom two named items, I already told you how to unlock them, but here is the Shield Splinterer. This is the named F2000 with Perfect Optimist, and this week it comes with Stability. But the attributes are high enough to where you could just recalibrate the Stability off for, say, damage to targets at a cover, and then you're good to go. And then finally for the named items, we have the Hunter Killer chess piece. This is the named Golem Gear chess piece with Perfect Intimidate. And this week it comes with status and armor regeneration. That's um, interesting. Because for the one piece bonus you get status and for the two piece bonus you get armor regen. So it kind of plays into both of those. However, I don't really see a good fit for status effects with a perfect intimidate build. So what I would do is just uh, recalibrate the status off for whatever it is you want, and you're good to go. You could go crit armor region, hazard armor region, headshot armor region, wh whatever it is you want. Now moving on to the high or to the gear set items. Yo, look at this. Max core attribute. Max core attribute. Max. Co what is this? These are all maxed. Uh, okay. Uh, starting at the top with the ongoing directive backpack with max weapon damage and status, that's exactly what you want on an ongoing directive backpack. Uh, the Heartbreaker, look at this, max armor with armor region, that's exactly what you want. Or you could change the armor region to hazard and get, uh, get crazy. You want to get nuts, put hazard on there. Uh, we have rigor gloves, uh, with crit chance, Okay. Negotiator's Dilemma knee pads with max weapon damage again. And then this one with armor regeneration. All you have to do is change the armor region off for crit chance, headshot, whatever it is for negotiators, and you're good. And then we have our last two. We have Aces and Eights holster with crit damage. That one's not bad. Decent attributes. And then True Patriot. This is a good mask. Holy moly. Uh, decent armor and crit chance. I mean, almost all of these gear set items are good pickups. I mean, besides the uh, the gloves and that holster, everything else is really good. I mean, one, two, three, I mean, four out of the six. That's really good. All right, what is this? Crit damage headshot. I mean, that's not bad either. Max weapon damage on Walker Harris. What the hell, dude? Is Cassie, like, <laughs> she's coming out swinging this week. And we have a hunting M44 with flatline. Interesting. Because you could put the uh, pulse on that weapon. Mm -hmm. All right, and finishing up with the high-end items, we have the Big Show. This is the named LMG with Perfect Thunder Strike, and this week with Stability. But these attributes are so high that you could just change Stability off for armor damage, and you're good to go. Hunting M44 with armor damage and Flatline. That's really strong, but remember, you could change Flatline off for Determined. However, if you do not like to do headshots having flatline is still good because it amplifies all of your weapon damage. Following that, we have Walker Harris backpack with headshot and crit hit damage. That's really strong. Just change the tech support talent off for whatever it is you want. You could go adrenaline rush, vigilance, wh whatever you're feeling. Uh, I personally would probably go vigilance Not just bad. to try to make it look like this Walker Harris bag that I have right here. Not bad. And remember, headshot and crit hit damage, that's really good for, like, say, an SMG build. So you could throw that on an SMG build that already has crit chance, and then you're good to go. And then finally, for the high-end items, we have a Walker Harris pair of knee pads with max weapon damage. Again, another max core attribute. Armor regeneration and skill haste. And then looking at the mods, we have skill haste 10.8 and pulse cone size of 6.7. Now, must buy is things to look for from Cassie. I mean, the light glue isn't bad. The battery pack isn't bad. Uh, the hunter killer's okay. 
But then once you start going into these, I mean, Ongoing Directive is good. Heartbreaker is good. Negotiators is good. The True Patriot is good. I mean, a lot of these are good. Um, the Big Show is okay. I keep getting told that it's a good weapon, but I just can't get myself to use it for some reason. Um, the Walker Harris bag isn't bad. It's a good one. Just change the talent. And, I mean, that's really about it. But just being honest with you, what is this? One? Uh, I'll skip those, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, maybe seven. So around seven items from Cassie this week? That's pretty damn good. That might be one of the best Cassie resets we've had all year. I mean, Cassie really does not bring out good items. So that's a good, nice little surprise. Now let's jump over to Danny Weaver, and then we'll get out of here. If you haven't yet, hit the thumbs up. What are you waiting on? Come on. Support the channel by subscribing and shout out where you're from, whether that be in chat or in the comments. It's always cool to see where everyone's from. Now for Danny Weaver, because I already highlighted it, uh, I like to keep these uh, locations highlighted just in case they're either underground or through a wall or some crap. And for this one, it's really not that bad. Um, the only thing about this location is that the door does not pop up until you're like right on top of it. And I learned that like way back in like year one. So that's why I keep them highlighted for now on. That way it's never confusing and you know exactly where you need to go. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So if you run around here and go to the door, right? So check this out. The door will not highlight until you are right on top of it, okay? So if you're looking right here and you do not have it activated, all right? So that this is what you're going to see. You can't even, like, really see the location, right? I mean, you're looking around. It, it all kind of looks the same. But when you get right up on top of it, see? Now it says open door. It's just a little tricky. That's why I keep the uh, locations highlighted. All right, here we go. Danny Weaver. Time stamp it. Do whatever you need. You need to unload some stuff. All right. So Danny Weaver has crap this week. Okay. So we have one exotic, one named item, and the rest is just materials. That sucks. Um, I don't need any of the materials, but let's see what I named item trip. and exotic I get. Uh, let me know in the comments what you get. Okay. It's just two items. Let's see. So for my exotic, I got the tardigrade. Okay. And then for my named item, I got the calibre. All right. Not bad. The rest of these I don't need, but it is what it is. I mean, look, all these numbers are red. So I would literally just be dumping materials for no reason. But all right. That is your Cassie Mendoza and Danny Weaver weekly vendor reset and must buys for today. October the 23rd. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you found this helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But peace out. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your day. You know that whole spiel. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? So, yeah. Peace. There it is. Boom.